Okay, 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 okay. This crime story is about a Mississippi man who was killed in the worst way, allegedly by his ex-boyfriend, who was a former Jackson police officer. Now do these stories and documentaries to show the consequences and downfalls in life when making bad decisions. And in this case, a bad decision was definitely made by this former Jackson police officer. The red flags was definitely there. And the young man that lost his life did all the things that you're supposed to do. Filing restraining orders and everything. And that still did not save his life. Let's go. That's my only son, and I'm going to miss it. This is 25-year-old Carlos Collins. Carlos was the life of the party, energetic young man. From all the posts on social media and everyone showing him love and paying their respects, the one thing you notice is that he kept everyone laughing. And he kept everyone up on their feet. Like I said, he was a life of the party. But other than being a life of the party, Carlos Collins was a smart young man. He went to school to become a registered nurse following in his mother's footsteps. He was able to make his mom proud to go to college and show her that, hey, mama, I did it. But at some point in Carlos' life, he would meet 33-year-old former Jackson police officer Marcus Johnson, and they would have some type of close relationship. Now, sometimes when you let people in your personal space, it's all an opportunity. You never can predict how a person is going to be. They may start off being super nice and all of that, but you just never know when things don't work out. You never know how a person will act. Well, for Carlos Collins and Marcus Johnson, don't know all the details of what happened between these two, but Carlos Collins was breaking away and cutting all ties with former Jackson police officer Marcus Johnson, and that would become his worst nightmare. 25-year-old Carlos Collins was murdered early Tuesday morning, heading back to his apartment after work. Police say they are looking for Marcus Johnson, a former Jackson police officer. A crowd of Collins' family and friends gathered outside the scene as they got the awful news this morning. And emotions were high. <laughs> they say Collins had multiple restraining orders against Johnson for several months. Everyone has multiple ring cameras. His friends, they live here too. He's always lurking around, prowling around. You put a ring camera on a vacant apartment watching him. That's like obsession. That's a problem. And I feel like the law should have protected him and they failed him multiple times. The family says Collins was taken too early as he was pursuing to further his education in the medical field. Collins took after his mother, Ashla Hudson, in becoming a registered nurse at the Baptist Medical Center. They said it was heinous up there the, the way he was killed. Gunshot, Gunshot wounds and, and an axe was used, they say. Yeah. The family has one thing left to say to the one responsible. We the family of Carlos Collins asking you, Marcus Johnson, turn yourself in, please. Now, this is a sad, sad situation. You hear in the news clips, all the reports. Carlos Collins filed several restraining orders. And also, before this incident happened, 33 year old Marcus Johnson followed Carlos Collins to a local nightclub in Jackson, Mississippi. Now, I've seen a lot of comments online where people were saying, maybe if the police would have arrested Marcus Johnson then, maybe this would have never happened. But who knows? But it is sad to say that I think something needs to be changed with, you know, the law or something with restraining orders. 
you have females and males who file restraining orders and be honest with you, all they is told is nothing we can do right now as long as they don't come so many feet away, so many feet near you or whatever. But do a piece of paper really stop someone from wanting to get to you? Because several restraining orders did not save Carlos Collins' life. Now for Marcus Johnson, even though he was a former Jackson police officer, Marcus Johnson was also getting in some trouble years before this even happened. New at 5, a fake cop arrest for a former Jackson police officer. As 16 WAPD's Andrew Kinsey reports, this is not his first run-in with the law. 22-year-old Marcus Johnson is facing police impersonation charges. But according to JPG, he used to be a real cop. But the family wanted Marcus Johnson to be caught. And even though being on the run for about 24 hours, Marcus Johnson's time, being a free man, will finally come to an end on live video. There you go. They, they did uh, apprehend this individual. We see now some, uh, looks like Louisiana State Police walking up. The uh, individual, 33-year-old Marcus Johnson, I, I believe that, that's the correct last name, uh, Wanted murder suspect, former Vic, former Jackson police officer, wanted for murder, was picked up in Clinton as he was passing through Clinton. Warren County coordinated a stop along with the Vicksburg Police Department. Uh, they, they picked up the vehicle somewhere around 61 North, um, caught up to him, kept a safe distance though, and waited until they were in a safe location in Warren County to uh, pull him over. And when they were at that safe location, they turned on their lights turned on their sirens and uh, he, he he knew he was had there's at least five vehicles maybe six behind him at that point and um, five or six vehicles behind him at that point and he continued without uh, stopping he failed to yield got onto the bridge I-20 bridge into Louisiana and then began to speed away over 100 miles an hour they stayed with him uh, throughout Louisiana as we were traveling down the interstate, they were traveling down the interstate at that high rate of speed. A lot of vehicles were pulling off to the side. They could see the uh, sirens and lights behind them. A lot of them pulled over and stopped completely to safely allow law enforcement to pass and do their job. Uh, we're at mile marker 140, uh, close to 50 miles, well over 50 miles from the initial pickup point, close to 70 miles since um, they found him in Clinton, and uh, a good 50-mile chase with lights on him uh, from Warren County into Richland Parish, mile marker 140, here in Louisiana. Uh, he is in custody. There's no injury to him, no injury to any law enforcement. There's no damage to any vehicle that we can tell at this point. Uh, there's no injury to anyone, just the best possible outcome. This is a sad, sad situation. And then here this guy is trying to basically appear to leave the state heading toward Louisiana way. And then when the police get behind you, you want to take them on a high-speed chase. You're not ready through your life where you might well pull on over and go and get it over with. In this case, nobody wins. Regardless what the outcome is going to be in court, Carlos Collins' family loses him. They don't get him back. And then this Marcus Johnson guy, he has thrown his life away all because, allegedly, Carlos Collins wanted to move on away from him and didn't want to have anything to do with him anymore and completely cut ties and clearly marcus johnson could not handle that and made a decision to commit a stupid crime condolences to carlos collins family but y'all get in the comments tell me what y'all think about this don't forget to subscribe to the channel like and share this video holla